at our whiskey age about two years. Visitors to Pittsburgh can now get a taste of history and whiskey. A new state law that recently took effect allows micro distilleries to give samples and sell bottles of their product. It allows us to have immediate feedback on what we're making, and it also allows us to make small batches and allow people to taste um, the whiskey and to determine if we want to come out with a different product. So, it, in our view, it's a complete win win for both the consumers and for us. This family owned distillery makes different types of whiskey that may not be available in the mass market. They believe the new law will help them showcase their products. We're making a wheat whiskey. Um, as of a few years ago, you really couldn't find that in the mass market. Now small craft distillers are using that as one of the principal components in whiskey. And that's a, that's a sweeter, um, uh, more mild whiskey. Wiggle whiskey is named after a Revolutionary War man who burned down the home of a federal tax collector. Philip Wiggle also helped lead the Whiskey Rebellion. The company now sells a whiskey that Wiggle would have drunk back in the 1790s. We're also making a rye whiskey, which is historically the whiskey that was made in Pennsylvania. And again, up until a few years ago, you couldn't really find much on the mass market in terms of a rye whiskey. There are eight distilleries licensed in Pennsylvania. Older distilleries in the state closed during Prohibition, and many never reopened as the laws were very strict even afterwards. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.